AOC, Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, she had a, a clip that was being passed around where she was trying to make the case that the way streets are laid out is intentionally racist. And I, I just, I, I want you to hear this. I had to hear it. I had to bang my head on the table for a li- little bit. I'm, now you have to. There is a psychic weight to living in communities that are designed to be disconnected. It affects your social life. My neighborhood that I'm from in the Bronx and Parkchester, we have some of the longest commutes in all of New York City. It is a commute not just to work. It is a commute to do anything. It is a commute to connect socially. It is a commute to connect spiritually. These decisions are designed to disconnect, disempower, and isolate people. And when you layer that with a lot of Robert Moses's racist intent, to very much do so to a very specific kind of people, black, brown, low income, poor, etc., you can really see how it actually builds in organizing challenges to communities who actually want to empower themselves. They can see racism in everything except for unless it's against white people like you can see racism in the way the streets are laid out in brooklyn but you can't see like all these protesters saying horrible things about white people no condemnation there no concern there but i think this is almost you you have to be a white supremacist to have this sort of mentality do you understand like the inherent racism it takes for for white people to to have all the superpowers that AOC and so many people falsely give us credit for. You think white people are laying out streets in the New York area and they're like, "Hey Rusty, should we draw it from point A to point B?" And they're like, "I don't know, man, that might help the blacks too much. We better make it curvy." Why you want to make it curvy? We've got to we've got to separate them out. Wait, what was her what was her wording there? There is a psychic weight to living in communities that are designed to be disconnected. Yeah, yeah, we've got to keep them disconnected. Come on, man. If white people are going to reign supreme, we've got to disconnect the communities. We've got, to make, we've got to make their commutes longer. This is ridiculous. You know, in the country, uh, white people are the majority, and we have far longer commutes than anybody in Brooklyn. Don't be silly. Oh, is it, are we disconnected? Is that racism disconnected? Because look, look, remember, I grew up in Bucktussle. I grew up in a 30-acre hay pasture in the middle of nowhere. It was a 40-minute round trip to the nearest gallon of milk where we connect, where we, where we purposefully disconnected from our community so we couldn't rise up and be empowered. AOC, white people do not have that much control over the lives of non-white people, nor do we want it, nor, and here's the real truth, nor do we care. We don't care. When we're designing streets, we, our civil engineers are not being cranked out through engineering school at A&M so they can come out knowing how to best disconnect people of color with the street layout. No one gives a rip. Is there a hill there? Is, is there is is this the fastest way from point A to point B? Is there some water drainage issues? That might be the totality of it. I think uh I think the big message here is no, no, no. We didn't lay out streets to empower or disempower or discriminate. We just laid out streets. We didn't think about race. No one did. Not you're the first person to associate r- race with a street layout.